Welcome to Affinity Designer. I have the beginning of an app design open in Affinity Designer. When I switch to Export Persona, you will see it has been broken down into various slices ready for exporting. The creation of slices is covered in our other video tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Export Persona to export a single slice at various sizes and to different file formats simultaneously. So if I click this arrow next to the concept slice, I'll see the export setup for this slice. Currently, this slice, which covers the entire document, will export both artboards together in a single PNG. If I also wish for it to be exported as a PDF, I can add another export format by clicking this plus icon, and then changing the file format to PDF. I can export just this slice by clicking this export icon, selecting a folder and clicking export. You can see that two files result from the single slice, a multi-page PDF and a single PNG. Now, if I display the setup for an icon, you can see from this setting here that the PNG is going out at its current design size that's what 1x indicates. If you'd rather that it go out at twice the size, simply select 2x from the pop-up menu. If you wish for two versions, one at the design size and one at double this, you can add another export size for the format by clicking this plus icon. I can, of course, add another export size if I wish. And if I add one in error, I can remove it by clicking this cross icon. Now I have a custom export setup in place for one slice. I can use this icon to copy the setup, select other slices with the same purpose, and click this icon to paste the setup. Alternatively, you can copy an export format and add this only to the selected slice. Rather than replacing the entire setup. If you think you might use this setup in future projects, you may wish to save the setup as a preset. This can be done from panel preferences by selecting Create Export Setup Preset and naming the preset. You can then access your custom export preset as well as pre-built presets by selecting a slice and then from the Export Preset pop-up menu, select a preset. With all the export setups defined on my slices, I'll click Export Slices. In the dialog, I drill into my top level project folder and click Export. Once my slices are exported, I can see them in my project folder. Some have been placed in subfolders due to the path I defined for my slices in an earlier video. To find out about this and other export options, please see our comprehensive help system and other video tutorials, all available from the help menu. Thanks for watching.